Now, because these two use all four of their fingers to get about, it means that they're very, very mobile, they can climb over things, but we go big, that's it. They can jump up as well to try and reach up high for things, but we go for a zero, but we, good boy. And they can run at speeds of around about 12 to 15 miles an hour, so on dry land, the sea line is very, very fast as well. Now, if the two of them are both seals, then on land they move in a completely different way with your mid. We give you a mid vein, mate, to be sure you can eat how a seal moves on land, mate. How's a seal move, mate? Do you remember? There we go, so a seal moves like this, and the other is just like that. And they're a little bit like a giant caterpillar or a slug. Now, this is only because a seal doesn't have big enough front flippers, and like I mentioned a moment ago, they don't have enough power in their upper body to support all of their weight. Right, Ben, don't pop some of these down for us, but hello. What do you want? <laughs> do you want to show me what you all see the fashion do? You know, they don't mind all the way to the end of the stand, please. You can't miss me down there. Now, fish and squid are not easy things to catch, so a sea lion needs to have very good eyesight and they need to be very good at judging distance and speed as well. Now, obviously, here at the park, we give our sea lions all of their food, but they've still got the excellent eyesight. So, to demonstrate that to you guys, I've got five rings that I'm going to throw to Reggie, and what we'll do is we'll see how many he can catch over his head for us. Alright, Reg, five rings, mate, you ready for this? Here we go, mate, as we number one, that's it, as we number two, number three, number four, that's it. Now, a very tricky one to finish, now this last one, I'm going to spin it for him, so if he does catch it, give him a nice big round of applause for me, guys. Okay, mate, are you ready for this? Concentrate now. Here we go, up. Oh. Now, these two, they're very good at ball balancing as well, so we're going to basketball out. Alright, Beth, I think you can go first on this one today, mate. Are you ready? Come to that for us. That's it. Alright. Now, the secret of the ball balancing, believe it or not, is actually in the sea lion's whiskers. Now, obviously, with those whiskers, are not strong enough to hold the ball on his nose, but what the whiskers are doing at the moment is just telling Pippo which way the ball is moving, so he can move his head about and try and stop the ball from falling off. Now, because of the sea lion's ability to stay down under the water for such a long time, then the sea lion needs to be able to know what's moving in the water around them. So, in the wild, what these guys do is they use their whiskers to feel the movement and different vibrations that are made beneath the water. Now, this vibration could be one of their enemies from the past, like a big shark or a killer whale, or it could just be some of their food, like fish and squid. But eventually, the those whiskers are very, very sensitive to all the movements and the different vibrations that are made beneath the water. And I'll tell you what, well, they've got a fantastic job in the end of the day. Give them both a nice big round of applause for them. Now, I'm going to make the ball balance a little bit harder for Biffo now, just by having a bit of movement onto it. So what I'll do now is I'll throw the ball into the water, and let's see if Biffo can bring it back to his stand, but without dropping it. Now, he does have to swim the ball, it's all at the same time here, guys, so it's very, very difficult. Right, Biff, come on, get those corners, mate, come on, get those away. All right, Biffo, we'll try and get onto the stage, mate. That's it, and can you make it all the way back to his stand? Last little bit. Now, to be high up there, we need to lower it down first because little Reggie is going to go first for this one today. Now, little fella, you didn't do too 
glad you did this one yesterday, mate. He's so. Let me have a look at this road for you, dude. I'm going to set your jump to... Oh, dear. Is that okay? Can you do that? <laughs> so, all you've got to do, guys, is jump out to the water and then kick the ball with your stones. Now, if he does manage to do it, I'd like you guys to give him a very big round of applause for me because he has been a really good boy for us in the show and it is going to take him a lot of effort this jump. Okay, little fella, are you ready? Are you good boys, mate? That's it. Okay, little man, on your marks. Get set. Off you go then. Okay, here he comes. Oh, and me. Thank you very much for coming in. 